Greetings. Uh, it's continuing <coughs> demonstrations on uh, using a tablet PC to aid instruction. Uh, we could use it for basic math. We could use it in chemistry. We can use it in physics. You can use it most anywhere, uh, even the arts, of course. You can use it most anywhere where you need to convey some information and preferably uh, record it so that you can use it as a reference or your students can use it as a reference in the future. So let's do some basic math. We'll do a perimeter. P equals perimeter, of course. We'll do area as well. Area A equals area. We'll create, uh, using this very basic tool set, we'll create a simple rectangle. And this, of course, um, this is the length. L and this is the height, H. So length equals, uh, we'll say 17, and the height equals 8. So of course, perimeter equals 2L plus 2H, which gives us a value of perimeter equals 2 times 17 plus 2 times 8. Simple math here. P equals uh, 34 plus 16 gives us a total perimeter of 50. Now let's do area. Create a new slide. Actually cancel. You know what we can do? So we're going to copy this so we don't have to rewrite it again. So we select that, we edit, copy. Now let's create a new slide. And let's bump that up to the correct height, or we're going to say that's um, 800. And insert. And that should maintain, click maintain aspect ratio, and that should work. Click OK. Now we have a new slide, and let's paste that file, paste. There it is. Make that a little smaller. And we'll continue with our problem. So uh, area, of course, is... Um, Area of a rectangle is, is length times height. And click off, click, and now area equals length times, and I'll put the multiplication symbol there, times height, um, or it could also be represented as LH. Needless to say, 17 times 8 equals what? Now, we could do this in our head. Uh, you say how? You say, well, 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 7 is 56. So we know the answer is going to be 136. So the area equals 136 of that rectangle. So Again, when you're thinking about this as a student, as a teacher, you've got a couple things going for you. Um, first, you can assign your students the same task, uh, where they are recording. And again, this is using using free software. They're recording their solutions. They're sharing their knowledge, and we all know that when you when you teach something, you learn something. So uh, you have uh, the additional benefit of having proof as a teacher that your students have done their work. All of us have seen students at the uh, during lunch or break copying each other's work. This uh, can't be copied easily. And as well, in the long run, you certainly have extended your reach as a teacher uh, because the work has been recorded and published, and 
and you're establishing yourself essentially as a leader um, in education because there aren't too many people who are recording their coursework. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, please feel free to share your tablet ideas for teaching. Thank you.